You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. Markets took a break after the start of the week marked by a stock sell-off, but sentiment remains volatile. Concerns have re-emerged about the state of the U.S. economy, and investors' attention is focused on employment data that will be published in the coming days. On Wednesday, published data showed that the U.S. labor market is weakening, which raised expectations of a possible interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve. At the same time, additional information, including the report on employment in the non-agricultural sector, which will be released on Friday, causes further tension among market participants. The dollar weakened slightly on Thursday as traders increased expectations of a significant interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve this month. Investors began to avoid risky assets in favor of safe ones, and the yen became one of the main beneficiaries. The Japanese currency strengthened by 0.26%. The Swiss franc, also considered a safe currency, remained stable, showing weekly growth of 0.46%, which is less than that of the yen. The dollar remained under pressure in Asian trading. The euro was trading at $1.1083 the pound at $1.3147. The dollar index dropped to 101.25, reflecting its decline against a basket of other currencies. Oil prices rose slightly after they had previously fallen to multi-month lows. Oil prices gained support on Thursday after data from the American Petroleum Institute showed a reduction in oil and fuel reserves in the United States last week. If the data from the official report of the U.S. Energy Information Administration, which is due to be published on Thursday, confirm this decrease, it could be the largest weekly reduction in inventories since June. And now to the crypto market. According to an official announcement on September 4, the Zurich Cantonal Bank, which is the fourth largest bank in the country, now offers services for trading in storing Bitcoin and Ether. The offer is fully integrated into existing channels and is designed for both customers and third-party banks, representatives of the organization said. Technically, Bitcoin, after testing the $56,000 mark, showed growth, however, it has not yet been able to reverse the local downtrend. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.